The origins of St. Michael's Hospital in downtown Toronto date back to the 19th century and the Sisters of St. Joseph. It has undergone massive renovation throughout the 20th century, culminating in a state-of-the-art emergency wing in 2000. Its most recent addition is the 17-floor Peter Gilgan Patient Care Tower, a 250,000-square-foot facility that will also house a new main entrance and an expanded emergency care capacity. But standing in the way of its completion is a now obsolete stairwell located between the old building and the new. Operating in such tight quarters is precisely the kind of job that the specialists at Priestley Demolition are equipped for. This is one of the most challenging jobs we have at the moment. The equipment, the manpower, the working hours, everything. You can imagine we're faced with every obstacle possible here. And the challenge is compounded by St. Michael's Hospital's location in the heart of Canada's busiest city near one of its busiest intersections. It's a fully operating hospital. St. Mike's is a trauma centre, one of the three trauma centres in Toronto. So there's helicopters landing and then every level of this hospital has patients on it, whether it's for surgery or, or critical care. But the vibration transfers through concrete like it does every other building. and We have to really minimize that. We can't be disrupting any of the activities within the hospital. This structure on its own is a difficult demolition. It's reinforced concrete, it's very heavy pieces. Uh, everything has to be engineered and calculated to be lifted out with a crane. The job alone is an eight or nine out of 10, but to add the fact that it's an operating hospital attached to our stair tower, it really puts it through the roof. This staircase was used primarily as an emergency exit, so it was built like a bomb shelter with reinforced steel and cement to withstand the worst case scenarios. Job one is to remove the cladding that will reveal the structure. So what we're doing now is a little bit of early works. We've started uh, with some swing stages up on the top. You can see the blue skin. There used to be a tin flashing on there. We stripped that off using the swing stage. We're working our way down. We've got to the brick here now. We're stripping the brick off. They've also removed a link that used to be between the 12th floor as a walkway. It was a bridge there. We've taken that out. The crew wraps up swing stage work and finally the structural demo can begin. They'll start right on top, first hammering the roof slab free using a Brock 100 robotic excavator. I mean, it's uh, probably one of the safest machines out there for me. as lots of power, very compact, amazing machine. There's a span a beam and then a span a beam so he can sit on that the machine on the beam and work and he can be back at a safe distance. Once the concrete is broken free around the edges, the team hooks up the crane rigging for support. Julian, where's our crane? Yeah, we're ready for it. Let's go. Coming down, please. Coming down. Just keep coming on two for now. Steady down on two still. Hold it there. Next, a torch man comes in to dissect the rebar, freeing the first slab section from the structure. Thank you very much, uh, and we'll start taking her up now. I want to have a look underneath before you pull her away, okay? The slab must be clear of all extraneous debris so that nothing will come loose during transport to the bin below. Okay, Claude, she's all yours, but you can take her away, okay? Vitor coming at you, all right? Setting up the first one. First of many to come. As the slab moves out over the active street, there is no room for error. Communication with the crane operator is crucial. The drop has to be clean but the first slab comes off without a hitch. It was only 4,200 pounds, so we figured we'd take the beam with it too this time. Let's see where we're at. This project is not for the faint of heart. The crew needs to be on their toes at all times, working with massive weight 255 feet up and right on the structure's edge. 
In addition to the crane lifting out large sections, they'll need to remove the smaller debris and block walls. PDI has just what the doctor ordered for this task in the form of a movable platform. This platform will provide a working surface for men and machines. The platform that we had uh, engineered here, it's two separate platforms, 10 by five. Below there's four legs on each platform with multiple points to fasten them. The legs also telescope with multiple uh, points to secure them at different heights. And uh, towards the north end here, there's two tubes of structural steel with sort of a right angle flanges on them which will sit on this part of the deck of the stairwell. And then we anchor that in, we anchor the feet, and then it uses pressure. With their platform in place, the crew can carefully remove wall blocks by hand and load them into skip bins. Cranes will then fly the large bins in and out on a regular basis to keep everything clear and tidy. The team also works on removing the upper concrete support beams from each level. Priestley is as careful and precise outside the building as the esteemed medical professionals are inside, meticulously dismantling the stairwell, one floor at a time. Demolition really ramps up when Priestley institutes an evening shift to complement the work done throughout the day. Right now we're on the 11th floor, moving down to the 10th, and we're, as we speak, we are preparing the perimeter beams for uh, cutting and lifting out with the crane. From the 10th floor down, it's uh, a lot wider. It's got a whole room right beside it to the stairwell that's gotta be removed as well. And uh, that's gonna be starting this week. We're on the ninth floor. We're waiting for the brock. It's on, it's on the roof. We're going to lower it down and we're going to start chipping away at this slab over here. Once we got to the 10th floor, there was this expansion over from, from this stairwell onto the existing building. So now we started chipping away at that roof and now we're going to have this all the way down from now on. So we have definitely more room and that's why we got the, uh, the attaching here over now to do all the bigger beams and columns and it also helps to progress the job. Coming up on two. Steady up on two. Still coming up two. We've lowered the stair tower down to a level where there's a lot of active operations going on within the hospital and everyone can appreciate how important those are. So we're working as best we can around their schedule, uh, days off, middle of the week, trying to recover time uh, over the course of the weekend. We're still six stories in the air. We still have to have our wits about us. Stay the path, watch what we're doing, watch each other's backs and, and get it right down to the bottom. those lingering six stories won't remain for long. Priestly demolition attacks them with the speed of an ambulance and the skill of a surgeon. We're on the critical path here to get this finished and get out of here so they can infill these levels, get the new project completed and get people moved from the old building into this building. So they're waiting for us to get out of the way.
As demolition approaches ground level, an innovative system is introduced that will allow a larger machine access to the work area and expedite removal of the remaining levels. Ronnie came up with the idea of putting the machine out on beams, making a platform. We got a short over there with steel posts, short below with ferry posts. And we steel plated, welded everything together. We got the machine up on uh, top of the platform, spun it around, walked it out there, and it can reach all the way to the back, which is what it's doing now. It's gonna crush everything down. Priestley burrows through the basement floors of the structure. And as they remove their excavator support rigging and commence the final cleanup, this job can be deemed nothing but a success. The engineering, the planning down here has been steady and it's been constantly evolving on this project. But the crew is the one who's got their boots on the ground here and able to make sure we got the right tools in the toolbox to complete the work safely. And obviously, looking around now, you can see it's done very well. We haven't had one piece of rubble fall or anything like that. And I just want to say thank you very much to Mario and his crew for doing such a great job down here. We're basically done this job now. We came down with no incidents, no problems. We're at the bottom, we got to load out, clean out the concrete and sort of pack up and move on to the next one. Priestley overcame the challenges of operating within the tight downtown Toronto core and the even tighter confines of being sandwiched in between two buildings. The task was completed on budget and safely with no interruptions to the critical life-saving work being done inside. Proving once again that when a really difficult job needs to be done, there's only one call to make, and that's to Priestley Demolition.